this thing flies. I mean, Jesus Christ. Moments later. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm not a fan of stock Android. And I said that when I reviewed Lineage OS and that video is linked up here. But I've been using Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, Redmi Note 10 Pro Max for less than 24 hours and I'm already sold on that. And the first reason is I'm set to get more than 10 hours of battery life on this device at 60 Hertz. Before we go into my first impressions of this ROM, I want to let you guys know that I'm currently working on a tutorial, just like my tutorial on how to install Lineage OS, that video linked up here, and that article on my website linked in the description down below. I also wanted to remind you guys that if you use Brave Browser, you can now donate to my website or to my YouTube channel at no cost to you guys. I've been talking to you guys about some of my favorite ROMs on Twitter, and if you want the fastest, easiest way to connect with me, Twitter's a great option. Now, there's more than just battery life to this ROM. Everything that is Google works seamlessly with this ROM. And when I say seamlessly, I mean absolutely flawlessly, from OK Google to, oops, <laughs> to the corner swipe up, to the Pixel Experience launcher, it all works exactly the way it should. And even though this is the first build of the Pixel Experience ROM, it works pretty much without flaw. Now, there are a couple of bugs and we're gonna get into some of those bugs in a little bit. But the third reason that I'm absolutely just in love with this ROM is the smoothness and fluidity at least at 60 hertz. Now, I haven't even turned my animations down. I haven't done any of the normal tweaks that I normally do to Android devices when I get them. And if you guys wanna see a video about what I do on MIUI, you can check out a video up here. But essentially, out of the box, this device feels faster at 60 hertz than it felt on MIUI at 120 hertz. And that's something that is kind of difficult to explain to people that one of the reasons that the iPhone feels so fast, even though it's a 60 hertz display, is because of how the system animations and just everything works cohesively to give, together to give users a feeling of overall fast, fluid, I guess, system response. By the way, if you guys like this case, this is the Nilkin Frosted Shield, and I'm gonna be doing a review on this case in the next coming week. Enough talking about my first impressions of this ROM, and let me show you guys the performance that you can expect. Okay guys, let's start with what's broken on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pixel Experience ROM. And that first thing is auto brightness. The auto brightness works terribly, and it's something I'm hoping gets fixed with a future update. Now I had one or two questions about whether or not banking apps worked. As you guys see, I do have TD Ameritrade installed. I'm not gonna fully open it, but I was able to get my TD Ameritrade app open and working. Uh, that's about the extent of the online banking I do here. Other than trading cryptocurrency, which I was able to get Kraken working, and I was able to get my Exodus wallet working, as well as Binance Pro. And if you guys do want to donate some crypto to me, you guys see I have Brave Browser. I am a Brave verified creator, and you guys can go ahead and drop some of your Brave tokens. Other stuff that's kind of broken and or buggy. I've had one or two weird home screen glitches. Um, but it's stuff that like normally you just lock the screen and then it goes away. Uh, the fingerprint unlocker is fast and really, really smooth. Fingerprint integration into apps works fine. One thing I wanted to bring up and show you guys was DRM info. We do have Widevine L1 on this device with a custom ROM, so yay. Uh, if you wanna watch Netflix, um, it should work fine. So we've got custom ROM uh, stuff out of the way with DRM info as well as banking. Uphold Wallet, by the way, another app that works flawlessly. Stock camera that comes on this is absolutely fucking terrible. That was one of the first things that I had to switch and find the new Google camera that I wanted. And you guys should know how to find the best Google camera because I have a video about that linked up here. Other stuff that you guys are gonna notice when switching to the Pixel Experience ROM is that all of the Google integration services work absolutely flawlessly and it works really, really fast. 120 screen, uh, 120 hertz screen refresh rate also works really, really, really fast on here and is really, really nice. And you know what? 
just for shits and giggles. Let's go ahead and turn on the 120 hertz refresh rate. And wow, that's even faster and it's even smoother. And I know that's not gonna come across on video, but holy Jesus Christ. Now, uh, bugs, um, external storage SD card stuff. I did not have any of the same bugs that I did before on the Xiaomi EU ROM or on stock or on Lineage OS. So Spotify now again works flawlessly. And in essentially all ways, uh, we have all of the same types of kind of features that we would have with a Google Pixel. We have live caption. Let's turn that off. We have notification sound, stuff like that, all working fine. The Google Pixel launcher for settings, home screen settings. At a glance, we have that on, notification dots. Uh, suggestions, I've turned this off because it's really quite annoying, uh, or I keep it on the app list, I should say. Allow home screen rotation. That's basically all of the features and all the customizability that you have in this. And as you guys see, this thing flies. I mean, Jesus Christ. This, I didn't even, like it held the MeFit app open, or closed I should say, but this was something that like I was opening and using last night. And you guys can just see how, just how fast this is, jeez Louise. I mean, it is absolutely a speed demon. I mean, this is something that I was so unexpecting and I didn't think I was gonna like. And apps, I mean, I wish I could pin apps open in the background to never close, but even when stuff is closed, like here we have Instagram. Instagram's a bit of a RAM hog. Unfortunately, I can't see how much RAM we have left in App Switcher, but you guys are just, I mean, these are apps that are opening from the background, guys. Zalo, Zalo is like a messaging app here. This is opening from the background. This is not open. Look, we'll close all of these apps for you guys. Okay, and none of these apps are open. And I mean, see, this has to load the website, which is gonna be slower. Instagram, kind of slow. Spotify. I mean, guys, this is just so fast. Like this is so fast. Like this is, I don't know what to say about this other than this feels like you're buying a different phone. And it's a big enough of a change that it's totally worth going through the process of rooting your, or of unlocking the bootloader, of flashing the ROM, because it, this is just, apps aren't being forced closed in the background. I'm getting basically the same performance as I was stock, although we're still seeing some, there's still some animation jitters here. Let's go coin market cap. This is always a slow app. And it looks like, yes. I wanted to buy some Mandala coin last night and I set my reserve at uh, 25, 20, 28 cents and it looks like, yep, I bought it. Great. And that's gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Guys, I'm gonna be doing an Antutu throttling test on this. I'm gonna be doing, oh, another thing that's not working that I forgot to mention is fast charging. Uh, the 33 watt charger is still broken and it's kind of a bummer, but that that's a, about it. I mean, like the stuff that's broken on here isn't that big of a deal for me as of yet. And one of the other things is that Spotify doesn't seem to be draining as much battery in the background as it did before. And I'm, I'm just super impressed, guys. It, this is just for the first build. There's definitely a few things that need to be ironed out. Maybe I can get an interview with the developer who did this uh, and tutorial. You guys know that I'm not really a big fan of, you know that I'm not a fan. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I'm not a fan of stock Android. And I said that when I reviewed Lineage OS and that video is linked up here. 
but I've been using Pixel Experience ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro, Redmi Note 10 Pro Max for 